Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be building a pop-up model in React.js. Functionality wise we're going to be using React hooks and the rest is going to be done with CSS. This is an example of how it's going to look. As you can see it looks very smooth and nice and um, it's not very complicated to build. There's only a couple of lines of functionality and yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so I've just used create react app to set up a basic react um, application. And um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll provide a link in the description so you can get that up and running. Um, um, yeah, so this is just the, the basic boilerplate that they give you. Um, I'm going to open up my react code in VS code. And to begin with, I'm just going to focus on the functionality. So I'm going to split this video into two parts. One is going to have the functionality, the other is going to have the style. <clears throat> and I want to clear out this div to begin with. So we've got a fresh slate. And I'm just going to do a div with class name model background. And this is going to contain our model. But for now, I'm just going to type model in. And I'm also going to put in a button. And the button's going to say open model. And then I just want to clean up the CSS a little. So I'm going to go into app.css. I'm going to get rid of everything apart from app. And then I want to do a model background and I want to hide it as its initial state. So I'm going to do opacity zero and pointer events none. And pointer events none means basically if it's open and um, the opacity is zero, you're not going to be able to see it, but you might still be able to interact with the elements on the page. So it can be quite annoying. I'm going to save that. And if we go back to the app, you're going to see the open modal button, but it's not going to do anything. So functionality wise, we're going to use um, react hooks and um, yeah, react hooks. We're going to use the use state function. So if I just do use state, and then we want to use this um, use state function. So I need to do const. And then I want to destruct the um, function by doing use state. Now I'm going to do model state, comma set model state. And this is going to equal to use state and the default state for the model. We're going to set it to false. We can set it to anything we want, but I'm going to use this for the example. So use state is going to return the current state and it's also going to return a function that allows us to update the current state and what we want to do is we want to use this button and when somebody clicks it we want to add a class to the modal background which is going to reveal it um, it's really simple to do so to begin with let's just create the function that's going to manage the state let's do cons I'm going to do an arrow function and then I want to set modal state and I want to set it to the opposite of the current state. So if this is um, true, because I've got this ex exclamation mark, it's going to change it to false and vice versa. And this is going to allow us to have one function that manages multiple buttons. So if we have the button outside of the model, it's going to work. And if we have a button inside the model later, it's going to work. So that's all we want to do now is do on click equals do another arrow function. And then I want to do set. No, I want to do actually, I want to call the function manage state. And we're not passing it anything so that should be enough to trigger it 
I want to save that and go back to the application and we it's still not working because we haven't added the class here so I'm just going to change how I've done this I'm going to use curly braces I then want to do modal background again and then I want to do modal showing hyphen and I want to use the modal state variable so to do that we just need to do the dollar sign do the curly braces again and then do modal state I'm going to save that. So on the default load, this is going to show modal showing false. And then when we click the button, we want to switch the um, state from false to true. And then in our app, I want to do modal showing true. And we want to do opacity one pointer events. Think it's showing and we can also put a transition there. so let's try that so as you can see the model is now showing and disappearing and um, I'm just going to end this video here because this just covers the basic functionality and if you don't care about the styling you can probably take this and um, use it as you like. But in the next video, I'll go into the styling and hopefully we can create a nice UI.